Thanks a lot. Joined now by Highlands head coach Bert Lopez. Bert, a great back and forth uh, first half. They get the touchdown to cut it to within three, but then you guys get the fumble, a little break on your side, and then that touchdown by Boston to go up by 10 in the locker room. Yeah, it's, it's great. It's a good feeling uh, leading right now to half, but, you know, we're not out of the woods yet. You know, uh, we respect Lanier. Uh, they got a risk tradition, and, uh, you know, we just got to keep playing. Got to keep playing and finish this game. Quinton Boston, three touchdowns so far. I know we talked a lot in practice about uh, him having a big game. So far, so good for him. Right. Uh, you know, all credit to the offensive line and, of course, all the uh, receivers blocking downfield and so on. So it's a good team effort. What kind of adjustments you have to make in the second half to get the win? Gotta, like I told you uh, earlier this week, we just got to dominate across the board, and we got to work on that defense and make, making a couple of stops. Bert Lopez, appreciate the time. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you, sir. 24-14, Highlands with the lead, the second most points that Highlands has scored in a game this season and the second most points that Lanier has given up in a game this season. Tom Jeff. Thank you so much. Joined now by Lanier head coach Don Gatton. Don, a bit back and forth first half. You guys down 14-0, get a couple scores, get back within a field goal, almost recovered a fumble on a kickoff, but they were able to hang on to it and score a touchdown. Uh, wild first half, especially the last couple of minutes. Wild first half and the sloppy first half by us. You know, we're not happy with what we've done both offensively and defensively, especially on the defensive side. You know, we haven't given up 24 points in, in, a, in a half this year. And this is, you know, we're upset and we're trying to get the kids to understand what they're doing wrong. What kind of second half adjustments uh, are you making coming out of halftime trying to slow down their uh, run game? We're going we're to try to bring more pressure up the middle. We're going to try to force them outside. Real, real fast, Coach. 24 points. I know you said you really don't uh, like giving up that many points, but still a very competitive game. I mean, it feels like you all are just one or two plays away from uh, being in the lead. Well, the one thing we got to quit doing is shooting ourselves in the foot. You know, we, we, we've turned the ball over too much. And, you know, when they drop it, they pick it back up. When we drop it, they get it. So, you know, we need to quit turning the ball over. We need to control the ball. We need to score quick. Don, appreciate time. Thank, Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Don Gatton, the Lanier head coach. Time now for the second half with Jeff and Tom. Thank you very much. Joined now by Joe Orta. Joe, you guys trailed 14 nothing at one point in this game, 24-14 at halftime. You pitched the shutout in the second half, a couple of big touchdowns. I mean, what did coach tell you all in the locker room that was able to spark a big second half? Um, he just kept he just kept saying move the ball. You know, we were moving the ball real good in the first half. We, we had our yards here and there, but he, he said kept doing the same thing, and we did it. We came out with the W. Tell me about that winning touchdown drive, which you finished off. Uh, it felt really great. It felt really great just scoring and kept my, kept my patience, wait till the game ended. It was good. We know Lanier in recent times started 0-4, still made the playoffs. You start 0-5. But you're one in three in district play. Once district play uh, cycles through, be either half a game or one game out of the final spot. So still a long way to go for this team to uh, be able to make the playoff. Uh, yeah, we just we just plan to keep on striving, getting better at practice, and getting better as the games go by. Um, we plan on winning next weekend too. I mean next week too. So yeah. Joe, three touchdowns. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Little handshake there from Joe. Uh, one little stat, real quick, to tell you: this is the third time already in four district, four weeks of district play here in the district that a team has trailed by at least 14 points in the game and came back to win. Back to you guys. Nicely done, Greg. Nicely done. How about that? You know, this is the